In this video I present one of the most stunning locomotives in my collection. This is the Hornby 6225 Duchess of Gloucester, catalogue number R2179, that arrived with me in early 2001. The first five locomotives, number 6220 to 6224, were built in 1937 at Crewe. They were streamlined and painted in Caledonian Railway blue and silver horizontal lines to match the Coronation Scott train they were built to haul. 6220, the Pioneer Loco in her class, claimed a speed of 114 miles per hour in June 1937. They were the most powerful passenger steam locomotives ever built for the LMS, with an estimated horsepower of 3,300, putting them on par with the Deltic class of diesel loco. The second five locomotives of the class, number 6225 to 6229, were also streamlined, but were painted in the more traditional Crimson Lake with horizontal lining. This was to match the standard LMS stock. Three duchesses have been preserved. Number 6229, Duchess of Hamilton, 6233, Duchess of Sutherland, which have both been in service on the main line hauling rail tools. The third locomotive, 6235, City of Birmingham, is now located at Think Tank in Birmingham. In 2009, 6229 had her streamlined casing refitted and was returned to York on the 18th of May, taking her place at the heart of the National Rail Museum. 6225 Duchess of Gloucester was built in 1938 at Crewe and was put into traffic in May the same year. Originally built with a single chimney, this was changed to a double chimney in 1943. She was the first to carry the attractive Crimson Lake livery, but in April 1944 this was changed to wartime black. The streamlined casing was removed in 1947. The locomotive lasted in service until September 1964, having worked nearly 2 million miles. After the streamlined casing was removed, they remained an impressive looking machine. 